thank you for joining me on this episode. So I'm going to get right on into it. What we're doing today is we're going to make fettuccine alfredo and also some minted peas. The main staples of this dish today are going to be the parmesan cheese, the butter, and the peas. Everything else you can kind of mix and match it a little bit. Now, I'll go over the ingredients real quick that we have on the table. We have the mint that I have harvested recently again from my plants. Some of it's a little drier than others. I'm going to move that over to the cutting board and we'll go ahead and pick that. And that's been inside growing this whole time. Next I have a, a block of Parmesan cheese here. You can just pick this up near your cheese section in your deli department. It's really great for having any sort of red sauce. Uh, pastas, it's really great to throw on. Uh, and then this recipe is going to go help you uh, get through a little bit more that way. Um, you're not lagging behind on this cheese's expiration. And we have a little bit of leftover onion here. We're going to need about a tablespoon of onion. And uh, we're not going to be using the whole two cans of peas to get for to follow this recipe to a tea. We'll only be using a can and a half, and we'll store the rest in the container here for later. Now, if I haven't said already, I will have the entire recipes laid out for you in the About Me section, so you can go ahead on your Twitch video. If you go to my About section, it'll be at the very top for you on mobile. And if you're on the desktop here, you'll be able to view it by exiting the full screen and hitting the About section right underneath my video. Now there's a couple things that we're gonna get started right away. I'm gonna try to keep this more uh, Mm, concise is that the word I'm looking for time saving so well, we got to get the butter and the water boiling here I've added eight cups of water into this pot here I've had this on a low I'm gonna start measuring out my butter let's see I need a quarter cup of butter to start that's going to be a half a stick of butter here. So half a stick of butter is four tablespoons. I'm also going to need another four tablespoons of butter melted for my Alfredo. So we're going to do both. Now in the recipe here it calls for eight ounces of fettuccine. And in a pound, there's 16 ounces. So an eight ounce serving would be half the package because it'd be eight ounces out of 16. 16 is the pound. So it's half this box of one pound fettuccine. Now if you're uh, following me online and you got the email notification, you would notice that this I labeled this as a calorie dense option. Uh, it's only using 8 ounces of fettuccine, but this does make 6 servings. It's a calorie dense option for you. And the tooth, now that we have this working, the butter is melting slowly, we're going to uncan our peas in a little bit, but what we really need to start working on is plucking out our mint and grating our Parmesan 
sheets. So this, I always point out, is very nice for the kids to be able to take part in. Now, I also do always like, before I get too into it, I do always like to take a moment on camera. I always wash those pins, give it a good, nice little wash. I have this red. I've been washing my hand constantly since I've been getting this set up. But it's never a bad time to wash your hands. And for those folks of you that are in the industry already, trust me, customers, any reasonable customer is not going to mind if you take a moment to wash your hands. It's okay. You don't have to rush that much at your job. You're, a, you're allowed to wash your hands. It doesn't matter if that... if. It's better to just run into a customer that doesn't believe in that sort of thing than to make someone that really does care about hand washing really uncomfortable at your job. So those uh, habits, if you're working on the line, this is this this show I try to help and support people out there out in the food industry. There's lots going on in the food industry right now too as well. But I like to help everyone become a better cook. And some of the things, there's some bad habits you can have on the line. Like uh, putting all your weight onto one foot. You know, when you're locking your leg, just standing there for a really long time. You really, really don't want to get trapped into that. That will really mess up your posture in the long run. It's better to just relax, balance it. You'll have good circulation that way. That's just another habit, a uh, hand washing habit. Just always make a conscious habit. Get it so ingrained in your head that even if you were to forget, your body would just do it. Now, what I'll show off here is um, I didn't trim on camera today, but what I did is all this right here, it's great that it grew out. I let this mint go for a little bit, but what I cut it from was I took all this actually, it's taking so much for it to live here. So I cut it off at the bases there. And I got some really good pieces of net. And you can see that there's not really any rush here. I'm just waiting for my fettuccine and then my butter's melting slowly on a one. This isn't even turned on yet. And plucking this is a really good for the kids to be able to get involved with cooking. And I've managed to grow all this mint. Uh, I've, I've had uh, mint be one of the ingredients about four or five times on the show already. And it's from the same mint plants that I've had from last year. Uh, you can uh, find them on sale all the time for a buck or two. And just like uh, one, one repotting, and you just fill them up with water and they give you all this fresh mint that you're able to use. Now I am going to try to get this meal done in 30 minutes, but it might take a little bit longer than that. It's well worth plucking your own mint here. I guess I realized I hadn't done a, um, a sound check yet, so we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick as well. You know what, I'm going to do one more thing for everyone here, is that we'll get some music playing on in the background, so I'm going to step away real quick, I'll be right back with that.
right, hopefully that's not too loud. We'll see how that's gonna come in now. It's gonna get a little edgy here real quick. Cause uh, that, testing over it real quick. Is that okay? Yep, yep, all right, we're golden. Open back up the chat. Sweet. And then this, some of it got a little dry. This is why I knew this plant needed a little bit of help was actually this part right here. And I was like, ooh, definitely time to give it a cut and use it. So we're gonna use the fresh, we're gonna use the freshest of the fresh. So I'm not gonna use this. I wouldn't be scared to use it otherwise. I just had so much. And this is the only, out of everything I've grown, this is about the only waste I've had. Maybe double that. Only a couple spots. But there's no reason why I can't uh, use that little dried mint for something else, just for some sort of anything. It dried, so it naturally dehydrated itself. It's probably preserved at this point. I'd have to look a little bit more into that for you. I haven't, don't you worry, even though I stepped away, I haven't lost track of this. Could finally get it all submerged. Usually I'll cook my pasta in a smaller pot, but I really did want to not break up the noodle. I wanted to go for a long fettuccine noodle instead of having a, a half size. Now, if you're working with frozen peas for this recipe, I would start cooking them now at this point. I'm working with key, uh, peas out of a can, so I'm not, it's not gonna take as long for them to uh, heat up. We'll be pretty good to go. And what I'll do for myself here, since I got a lot going on, I'm gonna go ahead and set a kitchen timer on for 10 minutes just to keep track of, of what things are going. I'm still waiting for this to come to a boil here as well. And I got about half more of my mint to pluck here. Now we only need a tablespoon of chopped mint. But this is all that I harvested for the day. This is just what needed to come off. So this is We'll adjust our recipe accordingly. So uh, we'll definitely get a blast of mint flavor. This uh, this is probably going to be two. So this bunch right here, that would probably be a good place to stop. If you're just picking it at home, that will probably get you that tablespoon of mint that you're looking for. And that will be for the peas recipe, not for the Alfredo. I'm looking for a treat tonight, so I'm just getting a real punch. And this is actually, uh, two, you might have noticed that this is actually two different mints here. So um, there's a banana mint, and then there's a mint that I'm actually not sure um, what type of mint it is. It was more, it wasn't, it's not like a spearmint, it, it was just more traditional mint instead of this banana mint, which, um, if my palate is correct, just has kind of more of a, a definitely fainter, kind of sweeter banana mint. I hear that water almost coming to a boil there. I'm excited to see cooking this mint in with the peas, and then you're supposed to drain it. I was like, very interesting. I was rummaging through the old cookbook again. And then sometimes if you get something that's super small, I mean, if you're trying not to be wasteful, go ahead and pick absolutely every part. But if you're in a real rush, it's not bad to just say, okay, this just didn't grow the way I needed it to and, and compost it. 
Now I've wor almost worked my way through this whole pile. That water is about to come to a boil. Now when I work with a smaller pot, I usually put my pasta in and let the water heat up. But if I'm gonna be working with this larger pot, from now on, I probably, if I'm using a larger pot, I'll probably still bring the water to the boil and then add in the pasta. Almost done pouring that one out all this mint here. This is where I would add my salt into the water. Our, mutter, our butter is completely melted at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and I might switch out this since I'm in a rush. If I have another can of peas, I don't have to use a can of now this burner is already ready to go, so I'm going to keep on using that. I'm going to turn it, start cooking these peas, get this other one open. I'm sorry about the noise that will be coming here. Ah, there's the measuring cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for a quarter cup. All right, now, I did make a mistake here. I had too small. We're gonna go ahead and correct this. You see how it's filled all the way up to the top here? And then something else I'm gonna do instead of, this is dangerous to do because you could get it all over your burner. So I'm just taking it to the sink real quick. All right, same thing. I'm really cranking the heat on that. Still getting the lid on it. Now the next big thing that we have to do 
we have our butter split in between the recipes. The next thing we need to do is get our Parmesan cheese grated. Just a little bit less than a mess and go. our pasta see how many more minutes that we'll get it's been cooking for roughly six minutes from a boil and roughly two minutes since the temperature has gotten warmed on it all right that's our quarter cup right there Fish out a noodle here. That's perfect the way it is. We're going to go ahead and get that drained. filled this up with a little bit more water. And this, yeah, this plastic here is safe. It's temperature resistant to that. I'm just having it sit over the top here. <coughs> Sorry about the loud noise there, folks. Okay, and then I do need to add this is about to come to the temperature. The last thing I need to add is my tablespoon of onion and to chop up this mint.
That does give it a pretty good, nice, we got the green mint, a little bit of white onion in there that's sticking out and the peas, that's looking pretty good together. Now I'm gonna start getting this warmed up again. Let's see, I just need to look and see how much half and half was that that we were using. Two tablespoons. Oh, you know what? I forgot in my rush, I used a little bit too much. Um, I forgot to use only one and a half cups of peas there. So no wonder my, uh, no wonder I had to switch the pot a little through there. I was like, huh, that looks a lot bigger. And it's because I forgot to take away that uh, five ounces of peas from the other can. Turn off the heat for that. I'm going to start slowly melting the Parmesan cheese here. Alright, I'm going to empty the water here now.
right, we drained them and now we'll toss the butter. And all the burners off. Get our parmesan put away. say almost every time on this show clean as you go sign of a pro all right let's get this plated up Let's see how we did, folks. I'm interested in how these turned out. Hmm. Well, I ate that one, that was a little too hot. Couldn't get much of the flavor. Fettuccine Alfredo should be the right temperature. And that was a really simple fettuccine Alfredo. Um, I believe fettuccine alfredo is actually like a kid's dish. So this is like something really basic that you can make for them. Mm. 
instead of using just a noodle sauce. And this is really hits the spot too. And it's a calorie dense food, six servings all together in that. I'm probably having at least two servings here. And then if you don't, you don't even necessarily need, it, need to eat it on the side, you could throw this all together, give it a little bit more color. There you go. That's another quick meal that you can make. Plenty to go around too. And basically all that was, was a half a package of pasta, two cans of peas, and a stick of butter with a little bit of half and half, but I use almond milk for that. And a little bit of onion. Really easy to throw this together real quick. Hopefully this has cooled down a bit more now and I can actually see if I can taste the mint. Was the mint worth it? Was it worth all that plucking? You know, these have never been like my super favorite. With that, with, that, with that little bit of butter, that little bit of onion and the mint. I could get used to this. I think next time what I would do is that I would go ahead and just use a can of peas. I know it's hard for a lot of people to get through all their vegetables. So you could reduce it down, keep the same amount of onion, keep the same amount of mint, and just reduce the peas to one 15 ounce can. I'd be pretty close. To get the exact recipe and to get the portions for this recipe, you would need to do a can and a half in peas. And I went ahead and accidentally did two cans. Well, everything certainly passed the taste test here. Uh, some, a few things that I'll add in onto the show here that I've covered in some other ep episodes is that uh, keeping about five or six different pastas really helps you work around what you do and do have in the rest of your cabinet. Frozen vegetables, frozen peas are another great way to, to uh, purchase peas. The frozen option would just take not even much, much longer than just the canned peas. Fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and sign this off. Still um, getting used to the new screen schedule and stuff. Lots of stuff going on. Still wanted to, so this is definitely one of those meals where you know this is, <laughs> this is legit. I have so much going on right now. And this is one of those meals that I'd make for myself at home. I don't have much time and I still need to get a lot of calories in me. This is one that advantages I find to just going with a vegetarian diet instead of going a full vegan diet because I do need this convenience sometimes. I do need the butter, which is just a super calorie dense food to be able to throw on this stuff to just make it go the extra mile. The other option to use is 
his cheese. But cheese is a whole different, whole different source for me. Cheese would be almost as convenient as butter. So I don't mean to cut the stream short or anything. I'm just keeping the, the cooking portion really simple, straightforward. I might hop back online here in a few hours and just play some card games for y'all. That way I can say hi and catch up. And other than that, we're even, we got a pretty, uh, we didn't make too big of a mess in the kitchen here. And uh, some really delicious food made real quick. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting your show and putting your energy into me. Thank you if you're watching this on the replay, whether it be on YouTube or on the Twitch. Uh, you should be able to find the whole recipes to the T located somewhere in the about section of this video or first thing in the comments. Thank you so much. Have a blast, guys. Happy Tuesday, everybody.